Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin bottom is lining up exactly with previous cycles as the pie cycle bottom indicator is flashing and as these insane dumb money contrarian indicators are signaling amazing buy opportunity. You definitely want to stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we are talking about how Bitcoin is lining up perfectly with previous bottoms as amazing buy indicators are all flashing. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push the like button and let's get started. Today, Extreme Fear 15 down from a couple days ago as the price is going down as well. The overall market down 2.5%. Bitcoin at 19,422. Ethereum at 10,43. BNB at 2.22. XRP 31 cents. Cardano 41 cents. Solana 32 dollars. And Dogecoin at 6 cents. And if you want to know the top coins today based on artificial intelligence and machine learning, they would be Seek, Trust Wallet, Polygon, Quant, and Uniswap. And if you want to try out token metrics for yourself, there is a one week free trial down in the description. And with that, you get access to the research, which includes the code reviews, which was how they picked out Matic, also known as Polygon, and also Helium well before the price went up back when they were just pennies. Now, taking a look at this chart here, I was thinking the other day and I was like, man, I know we had this top here in April when the Pi Cycle top indicator flashed. I know we had this all time high here in November, but everybody knows we got wicked off. And if we didn't get wicked off, we probably would have had a blow off top that would have looked like this. The exact opposite of this wick off distribution right here. So had that have happened, the top actually would have been about $131,000, roughly about June 21st of 2021, about a year ago at this point. And if we line up previous Bitcoin bull, or excuse me, bear uh, markets, along this from the top to the bottom this one in yellow here is the 2017 2018 bear market and then this one here in white is the 2013 to 2015 bear market we'll take a look where we are right now we're pretty much in between both of them pretty much lining up perfectly for what would be a normal bear market not only that but we've already gone below prices that went back in the 2013-2015 bear market. Price already went down to $17,500, whereas this right here would suggest a $19,500 bottom, almost exactly where we are today. Not only that, but if we take a look at the Pi Cycle bottom indicator, basically the opposite indicator of the one that called the top here in April of 2021, if we take a look at that, it is about to cross right now. So this is suggesting that this could be an amazing buy opportunity because this could be the bottom. But everybody's like, oh, but the price could go down. I could buy today and then the price could crash to $15,000 or to $10,000 or to $5,000 or to $3,000 or to zero. And yes, it could. I can't predict the future. But if we take a look at this, this is the dumb money chart. Now, this is thanks to Alessio Rastani and also Sentiment Trader. But we can see that that Wall Street is getting busy, or Wall Street is busy getting pessimistic. Wall Street analysts have been downgrading stocks in the S&P 500. This has usually been a contrary indicator in the past. We can see right now, this metric is all the way down here. Now, previously, the COVID bottom, look at that spike. But then if we go back to 2018, big spike before the price rocketed off. Same thing here in 2015 and also here 2011. Pretty much anytime the Wall Street gets pessimistic and downgrade stocks, that's pretty close to a bottom, a capitulation event before the price rebounds and goes back up. Now, this is very similar to what we've been talking about previously with the consumer confidence in the stock market. Consumer confidence is at all-time lows. Historically, within the following year after we reached all-time lows, guess what? Up 15%, up 22%, up 29%, up 20%, up 22%. So historically, when we have these contrarian indicators, these dumb money indicators, basically the sky is falling indicators, these all suggest it's a great opportunity to buy. And we see right now, that right now in the markets, asset managers and hedge fund positioning, record shorts heading into this week's CPI econ releases. Now, this is something we should have the results from within not too long, within the day, actually. But 
potentially, if we take a look at the previous times we had record shorts like this, guess what? Price went up afterwards. 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 So all of these are counter indicators. And actually, if we take a look right now where the Fed is, because a lot of what's going on with the markets right now, completely dictated by whatever the Fed says with the CPI, with the inflation numbers, all of these things. Well, I'm overdue on updating the Fed pivot indicator, and frankly, it's showing we've arrived already. We're at the point where the Fed would usually halt rate hikes and begin easing again. As they gear up for the 75 BP in a couple weeks, they would be knowingly blowing up the system. We can see here there's this sideways megaphone in terms of the Fed pivot indicator, the average of five-year yield and Fed funds rate multiplied by the national debt. Historically, when we get to the top, it reverses and turns around. When we get to the bottom, again, it reverses and turns around. Now, we're at the point right now where usually the Fed would halt rate hikes and begin easing. If they don't do this, this would be knowingly blowing up the entire financial system. And while it, you know, while we doubt the usefulness of the Fed, it would seem unlikely that they would knowingly blow up this system because that would cause mass chaos around the world. And I don't think that they're going to do that. So that brings us to this. Tor de Meester has been around in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies for a long time. He's an OG of OGs. And historically, he's been pretty accurate about calling near the bottoms. He's been accurate about calling capitulation. He looks here at his tweets that mention capitulation. Back here in 2015 at the bottom, he had this tweet about capitulation. Back here in 2018, 19 in the bottom, capitulation. COVID bottom, capitulation. And more recently, a couple of weeks ago, he again called capitulation. Now, this is echoing what we saw here with the volume on exchanges. As a general rule, trading volume is the highest when markets capitulate, and such capitulation creates major bottoms. This weekly chart includes the aggregated Bitcoin volume for most BTC pairs, spot, and perpetual across exchanges. Volume hit its all-time high a few weeks ago. Now, we can see here, similar to previous when we have these volume spikes, these are all bottoms for Bitcoin. So why, oh why, would this time be different. It really wouldn't. If we take a look at this chart right here, the entity adjusted short term nuffle, we can see that every time it has left the green previously, the bottom has already been in. This also suggesting the bottom is already in and we could likely be beginning our next bull run right now, especially if we see something happening like these record shorts getting squeezed because that causes the price to pump dramatically and where could it lead us well four hundred thousand dollars by this next bull run so all of that being said could the price go down absolutely 100 percent yes i'm not you know pie in the sky permeable but i do think that right now everything is lining up there's enough blood in the streets there's enough fear all over the place we've been in extreme fear for months at this point Everybody's just waiting for something positive from the Fed to come out. If something positive from the Fed comes out, these shorts get squeezed. Not only that, if one of these ETF lawsuits actually win, and then we have an actual spot ETF, well, all of these things could combine for a massive bull rocket explosion territory for Bitcoin. Because right now, we're pretty much historic lows. So that's all for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace.